When a devastating earthquake struck southern Turkey and Syria on February 6th, the Turkish city of Mersin was spared any damage. But the city is now struggling to cope with the aftermath. Mersin's mayor says at least 400,000 people have arrived in the city since the earthquake. Some have been given shelter at the city's exhibition hall. Yasar Batman and his family fled the devastated city of Antakya. Thank God they are taking care of us here. They try to make up for what we lack as much as they can. Mersin municipality provides us with bread and food in the best way they can. I hope they will build a house for us as soon as possible and we can go to our home city as soon as we can. Abdul Rahim Bal also fled Antakya. We asked for a tent and other things while we were there in Antakya, but so far we did not receive any tents. If they give us one, we will go there. The life is difficult there. Even if you live in a tent, it's raining and there are storms. The influx of survivors is causing problems in Mersin. Local officials say house prices and rents have increased by 200 percent, while basic services like the health system and water supply are under pressure. Residents say prices were already high due to the influx of refugees fleeing the war in Syria. A few years ago, life was easier. Rents were lower, shopping was cheaper. After Syrians came here, the rents went up and the prices doubled. After the earthquake, it went up even more. It is not possible for this city to support 400,000 people. Still, many of our friends are looking for a house to rent. And now these people come from Hatay province. Syrian refugees also have rights. They are also human beings. But this city cannot cope with this. We need to support our own people first. Mersin is not in the official disaster zone and so does not qualify for emergency government funds. Its mayor has asked for the city to be given special status so it can receive extra support. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News.